everyone. So as part of February, you if you've been around in the coloring community, you know that February is often called February, as in fairies. So whether you're watching this video in February or any other time of the year, I wanted to share some of my favorite books um, for fairies. Now, I have a lot of books, <laughs> a lot, but I wanted to give you a variety based on price range, um, you know, how to color style and all that good stuff. So this is the first pile, and this pile has tabs in it because I actually plan to try and color in these this month for February, no promises, but I'll get them all done. So let's just, for without further ado, dive on in. So one that I really, really enjoy, um, and fairy is in the name, <laughs> is Fantasy and Fairy Cuties. This is the latest coloring book at the time I'm posting this video by Daria, uh, Daria Sakasoy. Uh, I butcher it every time. Um, she does amazing fairies. I've already marked this one as one I'm going to do this month or try. Uh, let me get to her. Oh, it's on the back. But on the back of the book, as you can see, there are a few other fairies in here. So we've got one here, um, one here, one here. Sometimes you won't see the wings. Oh, this one too but she'll call them Faze, F-A-E, and that's the one I want to do. Um, and they are supposed to be fairies. So let me see if I can find another example outside of the one I'm already going to color this month. Um, so, doo -doo -doo. it's always a lot of flipping. So here's this fairy called uh, Fairy Flory. Just so you see, like her style though, big eyes, super cute faces. Um, it's just adorable. I love all of her work. So that's one option for a fairy book. Now another artist who does amazing fairies is uh, Lariza May. Liza May. <laughs> I'll have these all linked in the description below. I'm um, actually. I may make a whole category in my Amazon store for fairy books, so I may be linking that. Just click that, and it'll open up to all of these listed here um, that are on Amazon. So this is all chibi fairies. So I will show you like some of the ones that I've marked that I want to color, but as you can see, it's a chibi style. Very big open lines in her work. So if you're new to coloring, this would be good because you can practice blending, you can use markers as well, which I tend to do with these. Uh, this was given to me as a gift, <laughs> so I want to hide the name. Um, but like this one, for example, hello, say hello to the jets. They always fly by as I record. Um, I'm going to scan this and put it on my marker paper because this is Amazon Create Space paper, and I definitely want to color this one with ohuhus, maybe even on camera. We'll see. So you can do chibis. Another option is Coloring Heaven. Now you do not have to subscribe to Coloring Heaven's uh, monthly subscription to get their releases. In fact, I don't. Um, I wait till there's three or four I like. I go on their Etsy, which I'll link in the description below for you, and buy those because you do have to pay or order enough to get free shipping or you'd pay shipping. So that's why I do a minimum of like three to four. But for example, the Fairytopia special, these are all by Mystic Art Mirrors. Um, and there's some exclusives in here, but everything is a fairy. You can also get her fairy book on her Etsy store that will have most of these ones minus the, what is it, 10? No, nine exclusives. Oh, that's so pretty. Why didn't I mark that one? <laughs> um, my friend, Debbie, over at Color Me Stress Free, picked this one up and shipped it to me all the way from the UK to the US. And I saved these because she sent these with them. Off topic, I know, but still. So these do have some exclusives. And those are the ones I marked. See how it says exclusive? Because I already have the book. I did mark that one, but it's not really an exclusive. 
but I also have her fairy book. Um, this is the fairy special. Now this has Yana Prosperina, one of my favorite artists for um, fairies as well. I typically purchase her uh, PDFs, and I do have a PDF in my pile, but we have 10 exclusives, or new I should say, they're not exclusive because they'll show up in later books. But look at that, it's, it's so pretty. Um, so her style is very, uh, just so gorgeous started that oh completed one for you um but yeah look at her style oh love it love her artwork one of the few that put men in her coloring books just fun fact not a lot of do but yeah i mean look these are so pretty so i had gotten that one and then this is the Fledgling Fairies. Now, this has Christine Caron, another one of my favorites, um, including 10 new exclusives. So, like, those are the ones here up front. Look, look at that little fairy boy. How cute is that? I actually tagged this one because I really want to color this one. <laughs> so, you can also get her books on um, Amazon. Same with Yana Prosperina. Or you can buy her uh, pages on her Etsy. So, Coloring Heaven is a great place to go. Whew. All right. Oh, not that one. Okay, speaking of Christine Caron, like I said, <laughs> she has books on Amazon. See? Literally says it in the title, Fairy and Fantasy. This is Fairy and Fantasy 1, 2, 3. Now, this month, specifically... I was going to try and do a couple images in this one. This is on the upgraded Amazon Create Space paper. Thank you, Christine, for doing that. So it's not the crummy paper. <laughs> but I picked these two to color this month from her Fairy and Fantasy 3. But Fairy and Fantasy 2 has some great ones as well. Now remember, it's not all fairies. That's why it says Fairy and Fantasy. But like, here's a fairy... But I really need to color in the fall. We've got another fairy. That's more like an elf. Let's see. That's, I don't think that one's a fairy. That's a mermaid. I'm trying to find you more fairies. They're in here. It's just hard. And then we got this one. I really want to color this one, but I'm holding off. Let me see if you guys in more. I'm holding off because I have a, a picture in my head but I haven't figured out how to translate it to paper. <laughs> do, you, do you guys ever have that? So here's some more. Look at this one, isn't that cute? She's like a little seedling elf fairy thing going on. So yeah, this is one of her popular books as well. So adorable. Look at that fairy. Ugh. I didn't go through and mark every single fairy or I'd be here till the end of time. Look at this fairy. So. I highly recommend another fairy, her books, another fairy, because she has tons. Look at this. Gorgeous, gorgeous. This month I'm focusing on this book specifically, but you have others as well. Oh, that was a little louder than I planned. Oh, another Christine Caron one. This is Fairies, one of her older um, books on Amazon. But like I had picked this one, this is Lily of the Valley Fairy. Now you can't see her wings, but the artist often tells you if it's a fairy or not. Let's see, here's another fairy. This is the Butterfly Fairy, uh, Daisy Fairy. These are her older works, but they're still so pretty. But everyone in here is a fairy. Water Lily Fairy. And sometimes it's nice to not have to fuss with the wings. <laughs> it's Calla Lily, Calla Lily Fairy, and I don't have to color the wings, so it makes it great. But yes, yeah, she's an awesome one if you're looking for some options. Okay. Then, if you want more chibi style, another one to look into is April Amber. Jade Summer also has some chibi fairies. Um, <clears throat> I have like the 100 Greatest Hits collection of chibis, and they're in there, but um, I don't have that pulled out to show. 
So this one I'm going to try and do this month, but she has other fairies in here. It's just a matter of finding them because this book is not specific to fairies. But that's kind of why I wanted to show you a variety. Like we've got unicorns and all that, but because not everyone wants to buy a book that is just fairies, <laughs> you know, you're going to burn out. <laughs> so there's some cute images in here along with the fairy that I'm going to color. Loads of unicorns though. Let's get talking about all these unicorns. So yeah, this is a really fun book and uh, a good choice if you want like mythical, but also get your fairy fix. Okay. So this is the latest book from Hannah Lynn, or latest at the time I am posting this. Um, now this is her grayscale only on upgraded Amazon paper, which means it's on the paper like um, Daria Draws and Christine Caron. Thank you, Hannah, for doing this. <laughs> so there's loads of fairies in her new book. Um, but I specifically have three picked out. This is the Berry Fairy. And that, that's just so cute. <laughs> I'm sorry, but the name just makes me giggle. Uh, this one, I can't wait to color. But the, another fairy here. Look at this teacup fairy. So she is a good source if you're looking for fairy books. And I also have two others that are great for um, fairies from her. So, we have the mermaids, uh, fairies, and other girls a whimsy. Obviously, that means you won't just have fairies, but I did color this fairy once upon a time. And, oh, did I put a date? Oh, 2021, so two years ago. But that's a fairy, for example. I had taken the page out so I could scan it. We got a fairy on the cover. Look, we got a fairy right there. So these are a little more detailed than her grayscale one. You're going to have the mermaids and non-fairies in here too. Look at that fairy picture though. Isn't that beautiful? So she is also a great resource for fairies. And I love her style. She's one of my favorites. Now in Mythical Maidens and Curious Creatures, you do get some fairies. I got to find them. Like... Oh, that picture is one of my favorites. I, I haven't colored it yet, but I will one day. So again, this is one where you'll have a bunch of different things mixed in with what you want. Like, so I've got this little fairy gal. I started that for Valentine's Day, oh, at least two or three years ago. <laughs> uh, I remember because I was coloring it while I was waiting for someone to look through my house to buy it. Um, so yeah, here we got this other fairy. So this one's going to have a lot more, like, other creatures. This one's definitely got more fairies than this one. And this one has a good selection of fairies in grayscale, while these are line art. Okay. <clears throat> then, another artist that you may enjoy for your fairy fix is Molly Harrison. So I prefer to buy her big books because then it's just a bunch combined. Now, if you like cutesy, then you would probably get better with Whimsical World. Um, again, you can buy these in smaller ones. <laughs> this is me using watercolor on Create Space paper. I don't recommend it. Um, so, loads of fairies in this book. <clears throat> I mean, you're gonna have tons. Right when I say that, though, you see none. But like fairies, see how cute they are too. That little one, and that one. Really adorable images. Look at that one, that is so cute. <clears throat> this one too, actually. So these would be really fun to just like, if you're looking for the more cutesy. Now I have these as well. These are her grayscale ones. So this is number one and number two. As you can see from the cover, she obviously has some fairies, but you're going to have mermaids and other things mixed in. But look at her fairies. Like, <laughs> these are fierce and amazing. I mean, look at these things. 
Now, the gray scale is dark, but most pencils cover it surprisingly well. But look at her fairies. I mean, they're just breathtaking. Look at that one. I don't even want to color it. It looks fine as it is. <clears throat> Excuse me. Like that one. I need to leave this out and color some of these this this month. But, oh, gorgeous. Gorgeous work. I mean, look at the detail on the hair. And she even has the hair coming down between these complex wings. One of my favorites for fairies. And same here in this book. This is number two. We still have more fairies. Look at them. Absolutely stunning. You will have, again, mermaids and non-fairy things. Look, that's a, a fairy mermaid. That's interesting. But just beautiful, beautiful artwork. But she has tons of fairies. So if you need a book that's just like super fairy, get one of these. <laughs> I mean, look at this. Pretty much almost every page you go to has a fairy in it. So love it love it oh it's beautiful so yeah molly harrison and then i have a couple more from darius uh, sakasoy also known as color in chicks is what she started out on etsy as um you may also know her as daria draws but a lot of her books have fairies in them so we have this gal here, um, they're kind of like mixed and mingled in here, so it's hard to, maybe I'll just flip and find them for you. So they're not all going to be fairies, like all of her books. I mean, she doesn't do everything as a fairy, <clears throat> but she does have her, this one I colored last year, forgot about that one. Where'd my fairies go? Oh, so we have this one right here. She's a very, very complex image though. Okay, and then in the, this is book seven, so this is a little bit more recent. We've got, again, lots of cute images, and then fairies will be mixed in. But these are good, like if you need, like you don't want to just buy a book of all fairies. Look at that one. That one's so pretty, though. Um, I think this one was supposed to be like a fairy gal, but I can't remember. And again, these are all that upgraded Create Space paper. And let's see what we got in here. Oops. That's a fairy right there. I think this one had a little bit more. Yep, we got a fairy here. Look at her wings. They got leaves in them. That's so cool. Da, 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 da. <laughs> if I would have went through and marked all these, we'd have been here for ages. This is another fairy. She's super fierce, though. Fierce fairy. Um, this one's a night elf, but a lot of people have colored these as if they were fairy wings and I'm kind of with you on that let's see uh, this one here is another fairy you'll see sometimes they're called fae fae I've got another fairy I need to color that one that one's cute another fairy so this one has a little bit more but she does tons of fairies on her Etsy and in her book and they are just all very cute now, as an example for Yana Prosperina, you can buy her books on Amazon. I have tons of them downstairs on my bookshelf. I didn't bring them up, though, because um, while they are all fairies, uh, I wanted to kind of show you the PDF side. So her PDF books are great because then you're not doing create space paper because that's what all her books on Amazon are. So this is a full one, Flower Fairies. So everyone is a fairy in this book. <laughs> and I need to bind it. But um, they are all fairies paired with a flower. And they are all gorgeous. Like, I wish I had time to just color this entire thing all month, but I don't. Like, look at that. So pretty. This is one I'm going to try and color 
this month. Um, but yeah, like she has a load of fairies. And in fact, I just recently bought her um, fairy coloring book. So it's just all fairies as well. I just need to print it out. But she has tons of fairy PDFs, um, whether in coloring book or singles. And then, of course, you can buy all of them on Amazon. So I'll make sure to add that to my shop. Okay. Now, if you're looking for a book that's dedicated to nothing but fairies, aside from the Yana Prosperina ones, <laughs> you got it. Here we go. Fairies in Dreamland by Denise Klett. Now, I have a warning about this book. It is tiny. The details are quite tiny. Loads of blankets for some reason. But it's still a fun book to color in. Um, in fact, I colored that page right there. It handled the watercolor pretty well, but it did bleed through. But they're single-sided, so as long as you're protecting the other page, no biggie. See what I mean? Lots of blankets. But everything has fairies. I kind of just pretend the blankets don't exist and color them like as a single object. Because <laughs> otherwise, I'd be there for days. So yeah, this is a really fun, quirky book all about fairies. It's not one of her more popular ones. You may know her better for gnomes in the neighborhood, but just so you know, there are books just for that. And then, last but not least, least, <laughs> we have Magical Maidens. This is the latest book by Jennifer Zimmerman, and this is kind of similar to Daria and Christine Caron. It's a variety of portrait images. It's on the upgraded Amazon paper. But not everything is fairy. So we got mermaids. Ta-da. So for mermaid, you're covered. Look at all that. Tons of mermaids. But the fairy image I have picked is this one here. Now you can also buy her PDFs on her Etsy store. So if you don't want to buy the whole book and you just wanted to say color this image, you can actually buy just this image right now on her Etsy. So she does great work though. Um, like see this fairy here. Let me see if this one's a fairy as well. She has quite a few fairies in here. So we have a fairy here, which is really cute. Got this fairy. Love the hair. Got a fairy here as well. Another fairy. And then of course the one I had marked off. So yeah, there's quite a few fairies in here for this being a single book, but it's another option, especially if you want some variety, but this would help cover you for Mermaid and February. Okay, well, whew. last but not least, Enchanted Faces, which you can get as pocket size or full size, um, or you can be like me and buy both. There are fairies in here. They are just a little harder to find because they're all so very up close like this. Usually it's just a few wings hanging in the background. This is more appropriate for mermaid because there are so many mermaids, but there are fairies in here. So we've got this gal right here. Oh, sorry. Anytime I'm in a, I'm ready to film, I have a cold. Oops. Keep going. I know there's more fairies in here. I'd like to leave you with one more. There's another fairy. It's hard to see, but see there's her wings there. So yeah, you kind of have to go through and look, but it, like it says on the cover, mermaids, fairies, and fantasy. So this is a pretty good one um, if you're looking for fairies. In fact, yep, the first, <laughs> the first image in here is a fairy as well. <laughs> so I think you guys get the idea. I've given you quite a few options and starting points. Um, so like I said, I will leave a link in the description below to my Amazon store specifically for all these fairy books. And then anyone I mentioned on Etsy, I will leave a link in the description below as well. But these are my favorite books to go to for fairies. Now I do have one more, but it's not as easy to get your hands on. Now, Clara Markova, her books pretty much always have fairies. Fairies? 
<laughs> um, her artwork is stunning. Just uh, so cutesy. You've probably seen videos. I, I buy all her books. You know, we got the fairies over here. But the problem is, is they're very... The books themselves are expensive. And then the shipping sometimes is almost as much as the book. So these are not the easiest to get a hold of. There's that one too. And this book in particular, really need to finish that double page spread, don't I? But fairies, um, this book in particular is actually pretty hard to get your hands on right now. So that's why I said I, I'm kind of just leaving this for last. Um, because once she, you know, runs out of copies, she doesn't reprint. They're out of print, they're gone. Um, so yeah, it's, this is for <laughs> hardcore <laughs> if you're dedicated because you'll probably end up spending anywhere from 50 to 60 bucks to get this single book. Is it a well-made book? Yeah, it's hardcover, it's sewn, the paper quality is top-notch, but still it's pretty hefty price tag. So Again, no matter what time of the year you're watching this, I hope I helped you find a few options for more fairy coloring in your life. If you are participating in February this year or any year, hopefully this helps you pick out some books that you can use and you might even already have some of these. Um, that's my goal, to help you find books that you already have that you didn't know fairies were in. <laughs> so, But these are my favorites to color in um, when I'm focusing on fairies. There's tons more fairy books out there. There's even more in my bookshelves downstairs, but these are my favorites, and that was the whole point of this video, the favorites that I like to color in. So if you wanna see any color alongs, tutorials, or any of that in any of the books I've shown, let me know in the comments below. And I'd love to know what your favorite um, fairy books are. Doesn't have to be only dedicated to fairies. Just your go-to for all those wonderful fairy fixes. So, until next time, everyone. Take care. Bye now.